Welcome, it's uh, day one of uh, EGX 2016, it's our sixth year here and uh, we have the whole four days so hopefully we're going to be recording a few things if it all comes out alright anyway. I'm pretty excited, are you excited Adam? Oh yes. <laughs> well, um, we're in the uh, beautiful surroundings of uh, a car park so we'll see you in a bit. Aww. The power of two. <laughs> so I'm here with Adam, just waiting to have a go at uh, PSVR. You looking forward to it? Yeah, it should be good. Yeah, I reckon it'll be all right, won't it? So no. I've got quite a few different experiences yeah, you can have a go at, but I hope I get either of the. Um Dinosaur one or the something horizon? Um there's far far point. That's the one. I think it's the first episode of next generation. First episode of next year. I was gonna make that joke, damn it. <laughs> that should be good. And then the strange new PlayStation movie. Oh really? Oh yeah. Yeah, I can see them doing it. Cool. Well uh, we'll see you in a second. So Adam, you just done the uh, PSVR experience, how did you find it? That was really, really good. I mean, obviously it's not as graphically impressive as Survive, but it, it was fine, you know, it wasn't looking like it. It didn't look like you were looking for a sort of screen door. Sure, it sure. It fluid, uh, everything sort of, you know, you could pick stuff up. So, uh, I mean, in the end, I was getting to the stage of, I'd be picking up one magazine ready, waiting for the magazine to empty in the gun and just slamming the new one in and getting another one ready. You so, can do all sorts of stuff like that. So what was happening in the actual experience for you? What, in terms of the quality and... No, no, actually, what was the, what was the game? Oh, so it was, it was called the London Heist, so you were in the back of a van with your mate Mickey, who was a proper fucking cockney, <laughs> and uh, basically you nicked a load of Russians... Uh, a load of Russians? You nicked a load of Russians' gems, uh, and you were giving it large, and they were chasing you while you were in your escape van. Cool, cool. Um, and then you had to defend your ill-gotten diamonds from said Russians, so... You were able to, you know, you had vans and bikes, you could shoot at the tyres or shoot the drivers and riders of the bikes and stuff like that. Really, really good. So good times. Oh yeah, and there's also lots of messing around with all the dials in the van. So ah. at one point I was messing with the blower thing, so you could actually turn the blower on and mess with the vents. <laughs> Open the glove box, I picked up a can of stuff and was drinking it and the, the guy went, oh, that's the good stuff, that is, mate. <laughs> and it was, it was really, really good. Nice, very, nice. Very good. Cool. Very impressive. All right, so you've uh, just had a go at Dead Cells. I've been playing it as well. <laughs> you have to lift it higher than that. There we go. <laughs> what do you think of it? It was very good. Um, classic sort of Metroidvania. In fact, they, they go so far as calling the game a uh, Roguevania. Roguevania, yes. Because there is enough of them there. True. Um, it's, it's very, very good, very, very pretty. Um, lovely pixel art style combined with sort of soft lights. Um, and it's sort of a procedure generating that each room is a tile and then every time you go through it just assembles these tiles into a, a nice yeah, room. It's kind, of, it's kind of it's crafted isn't it but it's yeah, uh, yeah. but it's still yeah. procedure generated which I think is the way things are going at the moment. Just to so yeah, yeah. there's a lot of that I mean it sort of extends the gameplay if you like it's a, a different experience each time but you, you know there's also items in the game you can use, there's different weapons, range down close and sort of modifiers on you for your abilities, but you've got the classic sort of block and roll stuff in there. So. Yeah, so, I mean, it was one of the games I was coming in intending to play it, and one of the things I was a bit concerned about was that maybe the, uh, it wouldn't 
the controls wouldn't feel as tight as they actually do. And uh, yeah, they're pretty good. Pretty good. I, I didn't have too much trouble with it. You actually got to a boss. So I didn't yeah, get so anywhere I near a boss. Just got killed by the boss, which was uh, irritating. But, uh, uh, really well. I didn't have any potions left. No, no. But it's yeah, it's pretty good. Very good game. Definitely going to be looking to get that. Mm -hmm. Might have to uh, see if we can uh, coerce the devs into give us <laughs> giving us some code <laughs> for it. But we'll see. We'll see. Good stuff. Day one of EGX done. Ian, what do you think? It's pretty good actually. I had a good time, as always. But as always with EGX, I get shocked by how fast the days go. I mean, we, we can't be on to see anything today, and it's already the end of the day. And we've been here since the place opened. So yeah, it is. It is crazy. Highlight for you? Um, got to be Dawn of War three. Really enjoyed Dawn of War three. I came here intending to play it. And I did, Ooh. and it was just blessed by the Emperor. Are you? <laughs> yes. I mean, it was um, a lot more like um, Dawn of War One, which is good. I enjoyed Dawn of War Two, but Dawn of War One is where it's at for me as a yeah. classic RTS um, gaming fan, um, and that was really good. Close second was um, Sonic Mania. Sonic Mania was great. Sonic Mania was excellent. I mean, I know, I know, Sonic's definitely your. your uh, well, I, yeah, I cut my teeth on Sonic. Um, Sonic Mania is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feels right. It's nice and tight. Yes. And as always, yes, yes, yes. People know I love the, the video game music and spot on in that. Really oh, great God, yeah. Too, Christian Whitehead and Head Cannon have outdone themselves, and I think. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, what else do we have a look at? Um, better go. For once, I went into a Blackfield collection and played a game which didn't instantly melt my brain with how completely abstract it was uh, and Lightning. that was Trapper's Delight um, yes that was good a lot like um, Ultimate Chicken Horse I hope I'm getting that right um, if you've ever seen that but uh, in a more three dimensional perspective so you go into the game you are given a set of tiles put down with various traps on and you put them down um, to try and pull the other players to get traps so you can get to the exit and get the points a um, lot of fun a lot of fun yeah there was also lightning in there as well, which was very lightning strange. Was, lightning was weird, and it wasn't until you explained to me how it actually worked that I, I was All able to figure out All day, then tap it, yes. and hope for the best. Yeah, because I, I didn't realise that you had to hold down the sort of lightning button um, and just keep pressing it to sort of switch the direction of the lightning to go uh, left, right, left, right, and yeah. hope, hope, hope it hits the other player. I'm not sure how much RNG there was in that, but... Yeah, I guess a sum to it. Nice for just quick, quick game to play there. Um, what else did we play? Um, I played London Heist on PlayStation VR. Yes, you did. You, you did the that PSVR was very VR good. Um, Brought off cat me, mate. I, I also had a go on the uh, the Nvidia VR stuff, so I had a go on a bit of a um, uh, sort of playground kind of thing. Um, yeah, and I, I played the sort of shoot up e one in that as well. Yeah, two yeah, pistols. Yeah. That's quite good. It made me jump out of my damn skin when I turned around. There was just a, a robot right in my face, about to tear my face off. Oh, it's good. We, we definitely learned. I mean, this is the first time we've kind of done this kind of footage, but uh, we learned that most of the uh, larger devs aren't as keen on you uh, recording. So you probably won't see a lot of that from us. But we'll try and record a bit of the, uh, uh, the sort of indie games and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, I forgot Dead Cells. Dead Cells. Excellent. Dead Cells was amazing. Um, I, I really want to go out and buy that now. It's not out until next year. Uh, well, I, like, devs, like, like I said to them, I'd rather them take their time on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want them to take their time on it, but um, but it's um, very. I mean, they called it a roadblock bay now. We, we talked about it earlier in the day, but uh, yeah, a lot of fun that one. Very um, good. Of course, all merch is right here as well. Um, I went to go and get my Doom poster that I'd seen earlier in the day, and it was sold out. Wow, wow, wow. Sad, sad times. Um, sad times indeed. Um, little Nightmares Dev Session. Little Nightmares Dev Session. Uh, that, looks, that looks really cool. It reminds me a lot of uh, Inside if you've been watching that on the channel. Um, it's uh, pretty good. It's a very good platformer, as a lot of things are these days, but it does have that feel because the devs were involved with Loving Planet. Um, 
it has to have that feel of uh, sack boy jumping around and that kind of uh, very chunky kind of physical feeling world. Yeah, um, but much much darker than a <laughs> lovely planet. Tim Burton esque. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, so that was day one. Yeah, uh, we had a good time. We're here for the next four days, so uh, we'll try and get some uh, footage up for you there. And uh, see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye.